Welcome back to yet another video. Now, if you're like me and you're into motor vlogging or you're just somebody who likes to film their trips away on your uh, motorbike, it can be a struggle to get your action camera mounted securely to your helmet and in a decent position where the footage is gonna be watchable at the end of it. Um, it can be difficult because some shapes and sizes of helmets, if it's a more aggressive helmet like this one here, it's, uh, I've got no option to mount the camera on the front of the helmet. Now, in my opinion, that's the best position to have your camera because it gives the viewer the feeling of actually being sat on the bike while watching uh, the videos that you produce. So subsequently, I've always had to mount them on the sides of my Shoei GT Air, which isn't always ideal. I've got used to it over the years, but it's not exactly the tidiest of looks. Um, so what we're going to look at in this video today, I've actually been sent some custom mounts um, for GoPro from a company called Fab Custom Mounts. Um, and he sent me a couple of mounts for both of my helmets. Um, so we're going to get them onto a helmet. I've put one on already, but we're just going to go through um, and stick one on the second helmet I've got. So rather than my setup looking like this, all ugly and horrible, we're going to get it from looking like this to this. So this was sent to me today from Fabian over at Fab Custom Mount. So I just thought I'd quickly go through what comes in the box. Now here we have uh, one of the GoPro mounts, which we'll look into a sec. The second one, it did come with two. The second one I've already mounted on my other helmet, but just for the purposes of this video, I wanted to show you um, a quick install of how it, uh, how it all works. Uh, another little bag in there with um, some complimentary Fab Custom Mount stickers one alcohol wipe and a spare 3M GoPro sticky. So this is the mount itself. This is the interesting part. Now these are handcrafted. I wasn't sure of how they were made. I've seen a lot of videos on, on YouTube of how people have sort of bodged um, GoPro mounts to the front of the helmet, but it doesn't look particularly nice. But these are really clean and nice. Now these are handmade. So basically what it is, is this mount here. Hopefully you can see that. This mount here is, is exactly the same as this one. This is a, just a, a standard GoPro flat um, clamp mount. And basically that's what's inside this. Now this, hopefully you can see it on camera there. This has been actually custom cut and made to the contours of the front of the helmet, which I'll show you in a second of how it all works. Really well designed and uh, attention to detail is very well made now this one's been painted in a matte black to match the matte finish of my black showy gta and the other one he's painted in gloss because the other helmet that i have is uh, has a gloss finish so the attention to detail of these mounts are uh, are fantastic handcrafted and it just it looks like a standard well it doesn't look handmade it looks uh, something that you'd buy off the shelf so I'm going to get rid of this nonsense on the side here. I'm kind of gutted that I never, never found Fabian's company before, because as I said, I've always found other bits and bobs online, videos on how to get your cameras mounted on the front. But as I said, it's always been a very bodged process and never looked, never looked nice at all. Now it's probably a bit difficult to see on camera, but this contour here of the underside of the mount, the contour of that or that line of the, of the mount exactly matches the contour of the front of the helmet. So this will fit absolutely perfect to the front of that helmet and it, you'll get full adhesion over the, over the entire mount. It's upside down. So this matches perfectly. It's a bit hard to see, it's a bit hard to get it onto camera, but this matches absolutely perfectly to the front of that helmet. So what we need to do first is Clean the area of any dirt, oils, dead bugs. So we're just gonna peel off the backing of the sticky. And here you can probably see a bit better how it's been matched to the contours of the front of my helmet. So before you stick it on, you need to heat these up slightly, especially on a matte um, finish. Now I haven't got my uh, hair dryer because I don't have much hair. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it with a lighter, but I'm not gonna burn anything just quickly get some heat into it and it's a bit fiddly obviously trying to get it into exactly the right position i think we're good we're gonna go with it like with any other gopro mounts it takes 24 hours for them to cure um 100 so it's better not not to go using it straight away let it sit overnight 24 hours worth so it's fully cured and it's not gonna not gonna go anywhere 
Now I'll just slide the other helmet over because I just let that one set and cure away. So that is how this is now attached to the front of this helmet. So this one I installed yesterday and it's fully cured. So I've now I've attached the camera to the front of it. So now it looks much cleaner. And on this side, I've got my GoPro mic adapter, which allows me to uh, record audio onto the videos. Now what I'm gonna do later on, because the mic adapter still looks a bit ugly at the front of the camera, you can get cases now where you can slide the mic adapter in under the camera here. So it sits underneath the camera, um, just to tidy up even more. Um, but just as it is now, um, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. But look how much tidy that is rather than having it sat, sat on the side of the helmet. It's uh, nicely tucked away at the front of the helmet, much cleaner. And it's going to give me that better view. It's going to make the viewer think that they are riding the bike when they're watching the video. So chuff to bits. So I suppose the only thing left to do now is get this on my melon, get out on the bike and uh, let's go and see how it looks. So let's get out there. So how is it looking now that I'm out on the bike? Well, for one thing, it feels totally different. I've now not got some sort of wind sail on the side of my head. People always ask me, uh, did that not ever uh, annoy you? I thought, no, I've never really noticed it because I've had it there for so many years. I've just kind of got used to it. But now that it's gone, there's no wind drag at all on my helmet, which is nice. So in my opinion, this is the best position to have your camera. Now, if you're looking into getting a camera, just to film your trips away or you're really wanting to get into motor vlogging do strive to get the camera on the chin of your helmet easily done now through fabian at fab custom mounts link is in the description below if you want to check out his website and order yourself some mounts it's the best position i've seen so many videos where people have them on the side of the helmet now i had it i did have it on the side of my helmet but i had it further forward so you couldn't see my helmet in the frame of the shot for me there's nothing worse than watching videos where you can see half somebody's helmet and their visor in the in the frame of the shot didn't used to be too bad but now because all action cameras or most of the new ones have got really good stabilization your footage split stays nice and still and all you've got in the side of your shot is some sort of nodding dog it's really disturbing so if you're looking to get an action camera this is the place you want to be mounting it now I have quickly connected it to my phone just to get the orientation of the camera right. It may take some tweaking, it might be too low, but there is a plenty of room um, for the camera to be tipped forward, tipped back. And if it does tip back and it, it's not far enough, I can always add part of um, add another bar to the uh, to the mount itself just to get it further away from the helmet. But that's something I'll look into at a later date. But all round, absolutely fantastic product and I'm really happy firstly with the quality of the service and the professionalism of Fabian's company. Um, that definitely needs to be said. And um, secondly, the quality of the product. Now, as I said at the start of the video, these products are handmade custom mounts and they're customed to your particular helmet, completely personal. And it does take a few hours um, to actually get these mounts made. Now I'm not just saying that because I was sent them um, in a sponsored review. I was only sent one which is sponsored. I actually paid for the second one because I wanted to be able to vlog um, in both my helmets that I wear. Um, so I wanted to, so I paid for the second one myself. But from the whole process, from when I contacted Fabian, from when he started to when we finished, absolutely 100% professional company and um, very friendly guy and I'm extremely happy with the service that he's provided and that being said because um, it has gone so well and we're hoping to do stuff together or more stuff together in the future if you are interested in getting a custom mount for, not just for GoPro he does all kinds of other action cam mounts check the link out below in the description and if you do actually happen to order one if you use the code TLR in capital letters and 10 so TLR10, he'll then give you a 10 buck discount on your order if you've purchased from watching my review. So really nothing else to say about the video apart from I've been Sean, you've been fantastic. As I said, check out the links in the description below if you're interested in getting yourself one. Until next time, see you in the next one. Take care for now. Well, welcome back to yet another video where today we're going to be looking at something different where maybe, <coughs> let's do that again. Well, welcome back to yet another video where today we're going to be looking at, um, what are we looking at? So I put, that was about as much 
use of the bungalow dip tips. Let's do that again. So I suppose the only thing to do now is to get out on the bike, get it on me melon and go and see how it holds up. Let me just get this. It's the wife. Um, without it falling off or you having a bad angle or just talking absolute junk.